We're live here with uh, Pat Cooligan, uh, leader of OWAMA, Ottawa Academy of Mixed Martial Arts. Thank you very much for taking some time out. Uh, how's your emotions right now after, after tonight? Uh, you know, it's really exciting. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the guys and, uh, you know, it's easy to uh, take credit for the guys when they're great athletes. You know, it makes my job easier and, uh, you know, they really deserve all the credit. That's uh, really well put. Uh, you don't hear too many coaches uh, word it like that. Um, uh, another title brought back to your academy. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you see that fight play out? Uh, you, you know, we knew Eric Perez was a real, uh, you know, gamer. I've had the privilege to go out to Winnipeg a few times with some of my fighters. Um, Remy Morvan fought Eric Perez, and, uh, you know, Remy didn't have a great performance. Eric caught him flush with a, a knee in the first round uh, that uh, fractured Remy's rib, that debilitated uh, him for the rest of the fight. So it really uh, took the fight away from Remy in the first round. So we had a pretty good uh, feel for what to expect from Eric, and... Uh, uh, you know, we have a lot of respect for Curtis Brigham and his camp, so we really formulated a game plan. And again, uh, the credit goes to Randy Turner for executing that. And uh, yeah, it, it was great. Uh, one more thing, you had a, a young kid fight tonight, hands down, was the fight of the night. Um, I saw you jumping up on the ring like you couldn't believe what you just saw. I couldn't believe. How was that fight being in the corner? I guess you're referring to Andrew Walters Sorry, always Andrew being knocked Walters, out yes. like five times. Yes, Andrew Walters. Um, you know, Obviously, at Awama, you know, we really try to endeavor, and definitely as a coach, I try to impart upon the fighters, you know, to have that heart. However, any good coach worth his merit is going to tell you, you can't teach heart. And again, that was all Andrew. And you know what? I think the entire room was in disbelief, because to a certain extent, I was in disbelief. And uh, I had been with uh, Andrew out in Edmonton, and he fought a five-round war in Muay Thai. Uh, where Andrew, again, got the short end of the stick the entire fight. He didn't quit, and to see him come back with that rear naked choke at the end, uh, it was, you know, as a coach, I mean, I'm just overjoyed. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I told him, even I was jumping up and down, like, yeah. as a fan, I was losing it. Um, can we just touch on you being uh, a Hanzo Gracie black belt? Uh, you were the first Canadian? Yes, from Hanzo, yes. Yeah. How big of an honor is that? This guy is... There's no bigger name, in my opinion. He's huge yeah. in, in the world of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, that's a great question. And believe it or not, I think it's the first time anyone has asked me that question. And I would tell people, you know, with the exception of the birth of my children, it's the biggest deal in my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a son named Henzo. You see, uh, and I mean, I obviously did that, you know, to honor my instructor. And Henzo's one of those guys, you know, like him or not, everybody likes Henzo to a certain degree. And he's so charismatic, and he's such a great example for me to try to be like him, because, you know, I've got a long way to go. Uh, he's just so charismatic. He's a great role model. And there's nothing in my martial arts career that is more important to me than representing uh, Henzo Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as best that I can. That's great to hear. Um, I got a question for you. Your academy in Ottawa, of course you've been to the headquarters in New York. How close do you try to uh, make the atmosphere feel right here at your place? You know, there, there are some real uh, different contrasts and I think a lot of those contrasts stems from my mentality. I mean like when you go to Henzo's Academy, for example, like it's HenzoGracie.com. You know my website's not PatCooligan.com because you know when I think you're comparing Pat Cooligan to Henzo Gracie, it's truly a scenario of apples and oranges. So you know I definitely do have a, a different approach running my academy because again Henzo's Henzo. So he can run his academy in a fashion that a lot of people can't just because of who he is and uh, you know, with that said, I definitely do try to run my academy in a fashion where I can make Henzo really proud. Uh, Henzo's super busy. He's traveling back and forth to Abu Dhabi constantly, and uh, he's got so many things on the go. He makes time every single year to come to my academy once or twice a year to teach. And, you know, I have an apartment in New York City, or the academy does, rather. So, you know, we do go down on occasion as much as possible, and, uh, you know, we try to keep that bond as close as, close as we can. And uh, the guys like Hollis and Eagle, and Gregor, uh, Gianni Grippo, some of the top guys, John Danaher, you know, they come to uh, the school. They've all been at my school multiple times teaching. And, uh, you know, I do my part to, uh, again, try to honor Henzo and keep his close and in touch with uh, his academy and the way he does things. Is he that charismatic in real life? And, and 
uh, just seeing him through TV or in his film, uh, you feel like you just could get along with this guy. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't bring myself to try and articulate into words like how charismatic he is. I mean, uh, as I said, he's, he's impacted my life so incredibly. Like, I often refer to him as a man with a Midas touch. Like, everything he does just turns out well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, um, you know, obviously I've done a lot of hard work and my staff, which is a huge uh, part of Awama that sometimes I don't think gets the credit they should, um, you know, like the credit goes to Henzo and uh, to the staff and it's just like, he's just so charismatic that uh, it's, it's unimaginable. I've known him very well for 12 years, I still can't believe it. Yeah. You, you're putting uh, a lot of thanks to other people, I'm sure you, you play a part also. Uh, but you're very uh, humble, and it's nice to see. Uh, last couple words, I know you had a huge, uh, great showing, Abu Dhabi Pro, the Pan Ams. Uh, is the Worlds up next? You're going to have a training camp? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, basically what we're doing is uh, Fernando Zulik is having a big tournament in uh, Toronto, uh, May 11th and 12th. Yes. I have a bit of a conflict that weekend uh, due to the fact that Henzo is hosting uh, the World Jiu-Jitsu Expo in Long Beach. I don't know if I'm going to be in Long Beach or I'm going to be in Toronto. You're going to see the A-team from Awama out, you know, because um, we're going to Worlds one way or another, but to, you know, for some of my better guys to win that free trip, uh, you know, would, would I think uh, be great for the Academy. But uh, definitely our focus is now on the Worlds and you're going to see uh, Team Henzo Gracie Ottawa at the Worlds in force of at least 10 competitors and probably uh, 20 plus people. We're going down with a huge uh, support network and we want to bring home uh, medals across the board. And uh, one last thing, being a coach, uh, how do you bounce like telling a guy, listen, you got to win or is this not coming out of your mouth or is it just do good? Like what do you tell these people when they go to the world? Is it gold or nothing less? That is the mentality in the training camp. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, any of the guys, you know, really from the day-to-day -day operations of Awama and, you know, the normal classes, you know, and honestly, I don't have a lot to do with that. I'm really hyper-focused on the actual Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitors. That's truly what uh, I love to do. I mean, we're Europeans, we're Pan Ams, and really that's uh, my focus, and I'm an absolute tyrant when it comes to winning, and uh, we go to win. And do we always win? Absolutely not. But, uh, you know, we are going with the intention to win, at all costs and we train and uh, we drill in that fashion and I'm relatively confident it does show in our results. It does. Thank you very much for taking time out. That was a, a great talking with you and uh, I love the event and I hope think every, everything goes good for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. I Thank you. It. Seriously. That was